And speaking about the stadium, you know, it doesn't get used if you lose a home game to an international game. Yeah. Oh. You know, that's a big part of the business side of this entire thing that a lot of owners go, why, why has my team got to travel international? Then a lot of the other owners are, how come every other team's traveling but the Green Bay Packers? Uh -huh. well, well, Mark Murphy <laughs> chit-chatted at the NFL owners' meetings about why, you know, the Green Bay Packers aren't necessarily the best option to have to travel internationally because of just, you know, what's available to them mm -hmm. around Green Bay, Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I, I think we'll obviously hear soon on that uh, with the league. Yeah, you know, we're very supportive of you know, international play. Very, very supportive. The one issue with Green Bay, though, is our, the size of our airport and the size of our runway. Uh, and we want to make sure point. that we're not at a competitive disadvantage in terms of See. how long it's going to take us to get to Brazil. Uh, you know, there's some, hmm? <clears throat> some thought that we might have to bus to Milwaukee and then fly. Can, cannot do uh, that. You know, just some of those things. So, but, you know, if, <laughs> and I anticipate probably within a within the week we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, well, you so did. either us or <laughs> uh, If they choose us, we'll welcome it. And I think it would be exciting. You know, Schneidman. The, yeah, silence game it. ever in Brazil. Uh, <laughs> it would be exciting. But I want to make sure that we're, uh, you know, some of those things are yeah, planes, trains, and automobiles. Is that what we want for us to have to get to a game when everybody else has the luxury of being able to take off on a runway that's long enough for their international plane to get up? We can't do that. Okay, it's Green Bay. No. Mm -hmm. we can. You need us to fly to California. We, we can get to California. Mm -hmm. You need us to fly down to Miami, which is shockingly far. Every time you do that flight, yeah. it is a lot further than you think it is. That son of a bitch is all the way in the damn Caribbean. I mean, it, it is, is. <laughs> way down. You get on a plane to Miami, you're like, okay, it's got to be like, what, hour 15, hour 20th floor? Yep. They're like two and a half, 245. It's like, where the hell is it? Oh, it's at the equator. Yeah, it is. Miami is actually down <laughs> yeah. at the equator. Green Bay planes can get there. Oh, yeah. Okay, we can get mm -hmm. to Miami. You're talking about Brazil, though. We're talking about everybody. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> We're going to need these heavy planes to get down to Brazil. We can't do that. Well, turns out the NFL says we don't care. Here's Mark Murphy speaking just yesterday about whether or not they're going to kick off the season in Brazil. Yeah, I think we're either the first or second most popular team in Brazil. So? They, apparently they like green and gold. <laughs> I, think about, <laughs> the point. I think we, I believe... Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure. I think New England might be ahead of us because of Tom Brady and Giselle. Hell yeah. But, oh, yeah. yikes. So, I think that's it. <laughs> Six Super Bowls. No, I think we're, uh, we're very popular there. I mean, it's, you know, as we talked about, we're kind of the people's team. You know, I think <clears throat> people really like the idea of a community-owned team and, you know, with our history and tradition. Is the drawback just from you know, coaches Last are question. creatures of habit? They they want to be able to just have regular weeks. Is that one of the drawbacks from a football perspective? All this is filled to the very yeah, last sentence. Yeah, the logistics. I mean, uh, you know, the Philadelphia will just hop on a plane and go down, and you we're see. not sure that we'll, you know, exactly what <laughs> what we'll have to do to get to Brazil. Also, I mean, this is very important for the league. You know, the Packers are mm -hmm. very popular in Brazil. If we're chosen, we'll gladly go. Okay, sounds like the Packers are going. Yeah. Uh, yep. All yeah. that Phil, you know, the Philadelphia Eagles, they have big international airport things. I guess they just hop on a plane for us. We don't know what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, hell. You ever heard horse and buggy get into Brazil? I don't think so. No, it'd be tough. I well. don't think anybody's <laughs> ever wanted that to take place. That's what we got to figure out. And then that last sentence was, but this is very important to the NFL. If they want us to go, we'll happily go. <laughs> yeah. Seems like they're probably being told, hey, yeah, you need to start – Maybe laying some more concrete to right. extend those runways because mm -hmm. you're heading to Brazil, which is either good or bad, depending upon how you look at it. But as Packers fans, how do you feel? Yeah, I mean, I love it. I obviously, can't have a, an NFL franchise bust into Milwaukee and then flying down to Brazil. Just can't have that happen. But I believe... It's like the Bengals using the University of Cincinnati bubble before the yeah, Super Bowl. Oh, it like yeah. well, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Is that what this is like? Well, it's right over there to the bubble. Oh. Yeah, very similar. Can't have that happen. But with this being... I mean, I, I always think it's a good... Like, if you're the kickoff game of the NFL season... That's that's always a pretty sweet deal. I mean, we saw what happened last year. It's like it was Lions Chiefs, and that was kind of like the the NFL thinking, like, hey, the, this could be like a potential yeah. Super Bowl matchup. Obviously, that's not going to happen with them being in the same conference. But I think that means obviously a lot of fans in Brazil of the Packers. But I think it means the NFL thinks highly of the Packers as well 
going into this year and that you know they they want that to get a lot of eyes Friday night on Peacock so I'm I'm very excited about this and Packers aren't losing a home game which is huge okay uh yeah the I believe it's yeah, uh, the, Eagles. the Philadelphia Philly. Eagles will yeah. be losing a home game which I assume Mark Murphy was pretty steadfast on like hey the amount of home games we have scheduled people have travel plans because everybody flies to Green Bay yeah. not just the locals obviously the city of Green Bay shows up for the Packers but that FBO that they're talking about, that airport, mm-hmm. very active oh, yeah. for all those Packers games. People come in. It's a whole day. That's why the property does so well. That's why the, the museum, yep. the Hall of Fame, the everything around there is because there's a lot of outsiders traveling in for the entire thing. This game will be taking place in Sao Paulo. Hell yeah. Nice. Huh? How about it? Great place. A couple Great of soccer place. teams, first ones. We have heard about Brazil's fan base of the NFL for years now. Back whenever we were uh, – License the show to DAZN. We got a chance to meet a lot of people for DAZN. They had the NFL international rights. Yep. It was like Italy was huge, Canada was huge, and they were like Brazil was very large. Mm -hmm. I assume the Giselle connection is a big reason why. Now, obviously, we've all learned about how that has ended up, and we hope they're both happier. Yeah, that's right. Congratulations. You guys did good. Yeah. Two superstars were together for a long time, created a family. You know, who knows how difficult that is, any marriage and that whole thing. But I do believe that is probably maybe why. Like, okay, our – I mean, Giselle's the goat, right? Of mod- yeah, she's like yeah. the Brady oh, yeah. of modeling. Our yeah. goat, yep. you know, and I assume Brazil is very proud that for sure. they mm-hmm. created Giselle, oh, the yeah. goat, is now actually married to the goat of this sport. And although Brazil will always be a soccer country yeah. and one of the greatest soccer countries of all time, the history is mm-hmm. so deep down there. It's like, I like the fact that they saw football or introduced to football, love football, mm-hmm. and now they've earned a big-time game. It's not a preseason game. Mm-hmm. This is a big-time game to kick off the entire mm-hmm. season. Congrats to Brazil. Big-time game with two iconic franchises. Another sport, it's a great, great, Place down there, Brazilian Grand Prix, center down don't, there, awesome. So great fans, don't. but I'm, I'm I'm excited to watch this one. Two, two young, what you just did, right? Two young, <laughs> just look it up. It's, do it's, not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my favorite circuit. Do not. It's my favorite circuit. It's very irresponsible. Yeah. You put Lewis the NFL. Hamilton's. Yep. We're on ESPN. This is journalism. Hey, get him out. You Part can't be putting. Owner. You can't be mm. putting bum ass F1 no. in the same exact sentence as the NFL. What are you even <laughs> talking about? Which is on ESPN and a part owner of a team, Denver Broncos, Sir Lewis Hamilton. It's also one of his favorite circuits as well. But uh, <laughs> I'm, excited. I'm excited for this great game, man. It's going to be a great game. Two young quarterbacks. Jordan Love became one of my favorite quarterbacks uh, in the league last year, especially what he did the second half of the season. You know how big of a fan I was of Jalen Hurts the year before. Um, so I'm hear excited you. to see how they start this year off. Don't even know what you're saying. Don't even Nobody know what you're saying, D-Bud. Everyone turned it off. Your lips are moving, but the word's coming out. Just nobody's listening because of what you said just a couple seconds. I'll give you a couple of years. That was worse than what Bob Costas did last night. Thank <laughs> you.